Hi everyone, I am Cemal Bulunmaz, your jewelry professional and you are here on Bulunmaz YouTube channel. Today we are starting a new series of videos. I will introduce you different Pazalux diamond tools on different wedding rings so you can know more about our variety of tools. In our first video of this video series, I will use two tools, two machine tools, Pazalux tools. My first tool is 1mm 180 1mm flat tool. And my second tool is 1.5mm concave, the inside curve shaped Pazalux diamond tool. I will work on a white uh, wedding band today. It's approximately 9mm, it will be again 9mm when I finish the product. I will use Bulunmaz Lake Machine. I'm fixing my ring and from the back side I'm locking and my ring is hold pretty tight. It's ready to work. I can run my machine. I'm starting with the concave tool. It's a concave shape. It's a half round 1.5 mm. I will clean left and right side, the outside uh, curves of my wedding ring. So I'm fixing my first tool on the machine. I'm making left side and right side of the ring. I start my machine, ready to go. That's a gasoline, that's like petroleum, it's very good for cutting. When you touch, uh, your tool will cut. That's my Pazalux tool bulunmaz. So I'm making the cut. Done. That's so instant, it was so quick. I will change the other side of the ring. Here I completed. I completed left side and right side of my ring. It's ready for the next process, the magic wheel. Magic wheel is diamond plated tool. If you check our YouTube account, uh, you will find many other videos about the magic wheel. It's a simple, cheap and it's a tool which gives you much more models. You can create unlimited models with just one, uh, one tool magic wheel. I'm starting my weight machine. It's a simple hand process. You just hold the magic wheel. Be careful, hold with your two hands. And it's giving the design on the ring. Magic wheel is finished. I just uh, covered the surface of my ring. So I fixed my uh, 180, the flat tool. The flat tool means the diamond is flat shaped. So when the diamond touch your uh, ring, the surface will be totally flat. My tool is ready to go. I'm running the machine again and that's the last process. I use three tools in this video. I start. Don't forget to put gasoline, petroleum, kerosene, whatever. Uh, it's important for the shine and for the lifetime of your tools. It's ready to go. I will make just a flat cut in the middle of my ring. Here you go. You see the shine and it's done. I just take out my ring. It's ready, three tools completed. Let's see how shiny it looks. You can see I just cleaned the first, uh, the left and right sides with a radius tool, concave tool. Then I made a, a magic wheel on the ground. As you can see, it's like a non-shiny. It's one of our most popular tools. Then I made a central cut on the, uh, with the one millimeter 180 tool. My ring is ready, almost ready to be sold, to be dispatched to the customers. I used two Pazalux tools in this video, 1.5 mm concave and 1 mm 180 and then I used magic wheel to make the uh, finishing background, finishing effect. Last touch, I will send my ring for polishing and uh, rhodium plating because my customers don't want it in a yellow uh, color, they want it colored. So I'm sending my ring and let's see how the final result will look like. I got my plated ring. It's uh, polished and it's made a uh, rhodium plating. I choose the uh, white and yellow color. So that's the way my customers look like. Thank you so much for watching our new video. So that's the first video of our Pazalux Diamond Tool series. I will use different style Pazalux Diamond Tools with this lake machine and 
I hope you will like our uh, puzzle tools with, uh, with different designs, different angles, different shapes. See you next week and take care of yourself.